Hey, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back. It is Roman De La Pena. I'm on the Mad Gear YouTube channel, and today, um, they actually sent me, uh, one of their 99-inch rails, which is like a flat rail. And in this video, I'm gonna show you, well, I'm not only gonna show you, I'm gonna ride the rail, but I'm also gonna show you how easy it is to literally learn new tricks on a flat rail, especially when it's at your house. Now, a couple of the great things about having, like, a ramp or rail at your house is you can ride it whenever you want. It could be 2 a.m., 9 p.m., whatever the heck you want to do. You can grab a quick, or you can grab a long sesh on your rail. And they're super easy to build and super portable. You can literally take them apart, put them back in the box, take them somewhere, wherever, wherever the case may be. It doesn't really matter. So they have a 55-inch rail and a 99-inch rail. Um, I got the 99-inch one because why not have a longer rail? If you guys have seen my channel, you'll know I like park tricks, but I'm also really like, I really like street. Like, I love both. I'm a hybrid rider all day, every day, no matter what the case is. Unless it's snowing, frick, doing street because that's how you fall and get hurt. I mean, actually, that's a really irrelevant point. I like to be able to do grinds and overheads and all that good stuff. Now, obviously, this video is all about this rail, so there's not going to be any overheads. Um, I wish I could do an overhead off a rail. Not that good yet. Keyword, yet. But, essentially, if you guys want to get this rail, and speaking of this rail, this is what it looks like right here. I kind of just threw it on the ground, which is why it looks uneven. So I have to change that. Frick. I don't know. i got to break this thing in. It's pretty long, as you can see. 99 inches. One leg, two leg, three leg, four leg. Um, it's pretty simple to build. When you get it in the box, you pretty much just take it off the, all the styrofoam and then put two pins together, which is basically right here and right here, and then you just put the legs on, which is very simple. And they already have these rubber things, so it, does, it doesn't move at all. But because this is literally fresh out of the box, um, we gotta wax it with, you know, the trusty old Mag Gear wax. This junk does not, oh my god, it takes forever to go through, I swear. I've legitimately had this exact thing for probably a month now, and that's all the damage. I'm like, there, dude, I could literally use one of these for like a year. So we're gonna shock this wax on the rail, see how it slides. And by the way, if you want one of these rails, the link's in the description if you guys want to go grab one. But yeah, we're pretty much gonna try and get four new learns on this, all right? Just four stuff, four tricks that I've never done, combos, whatever it may be. So let's chuck some wax on this thing, and get the sesh going. I got one sheet of wax on, you know, tested it out with this beautiful scooter. So uh, we're gonna get a little warm up, nothing crazy, just get the legs going, and then we're gonna get into these new learns, have some fun. Oh man, that thing is really fun. It actually slides really well just off of one thing of wax, which is impressive because normally a rail out of the box with paint on it, you immediately have to put wax on it for like a bunch of times, but this just kind of slides really good. I actually really like the fact that this is round, but it's also not like super big. Like, as you can see, it's not a huge rail, which is good because I have a smaller deck right now just because it's easier to do like crazy overheads and stuff and it's actually very simple to 50 50 this because i was worried this would be hard because it's only a 4.5 it's not very wide but it felt pretty good i did front and back 50 the whole way which is nice kind of surprising not gonna lie i don't think i've ever front 50 like a round rail because this is definitely round because i always do it on this rail over here but that's a square but this is really nice so far and what do we hit it like like 50, 10 15 times maybe more hasn't moved at all seems pretty like i mean i can complain it it's not moving at all it seems to not move when I do any tricks, which is great. Because trust me, when you ride a rail, especially when it moves, it's so annoying. Because one, you have to move back. And two, you can't even try a trick because every single time you have to move it. Especially if you're trying to get a clip and the rail moves every shot. It gets annoying. But this thing, so far, so yeah. Kudos to you, Mad Gear, for making a great rail. And again, there's multiple sizes. This is the bigger one. There's a smaller one. Um, so I think what we're going to do is pretty much I'm going to come up with four new learns that I think I could do. That wouldn't take me a hundred years. And uh, we're going to try them. Okay, I think I'm gonna try a couple tricks specifically. Here, 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 we're gonna list them off. So some of these are just gonna be one-ups from other tricks, but that also counts as a new learn. So I'm gonna try bar, board, back lip, double whip. Okay, that's number one. 
Then I'm gonna try front board, 180 front lip, and then to like to full cab, I think. Okay, we'll start with those two, see how they go. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to, like I said, because this thing makes it so much easier. Well, that was one whip, I need two. Again? Yo, there we go. Alright, one down, three to go. That wasn't too bad. Had a little bit more trouble than I was expecting, but we got it. Now we're going to do front board, 180, front lip, and then 360 to fakie. Oh! Oh, yeah! Third time's the charm, baby. Okay, two down, two to go. Okay, I think I have an idea. So a while ago I did an edit trick where it was basically like a hurricane to board to heel. I think I'm going to do it to whip because that would just be harder because out of a, like a board slide, a heel is way easier than a whip. So we're going to try hurricane to board to whip. Easy money. All right, I'm going to get one more and then we're going to call it a day. I got to think of that one more though. I've done this, but I haven't done a different tail whip out of it. So we're going to do board back lip to front lip to regular whip. I've, I've only done heel and bar out of it, so we can do whip out just like we did the other one. So board, hop back lip, hop front lip, and then hop and do a freaking heel whip. Or no, did I say tail whip? I said, I think I said, I'm that. Tail whip. Goodness gracious, speak, Roman. Here we go. This will be the banger. I think we can do it pretty quickly, too. I hope this doesn't take an hour. Oh, my God. Bro, too easy. First try. Let's go. Okay, that was not expected. New learn. First try. We're going to give three tries and an extra whip out of that just as a bonus. So let's give that a go. One more. Oh, okay. We're done. I almost died. Oh, man, my heart is racing. I nearly landed a precision ride and almost ate my wheel. That would have sucked. Okay, we're done. Okay, well, there you have it. Poof. Super easy to learn tricks on rails. Even if you're a beginner, you could learn board, front board. I don't know, whatever you want. Just put some practice in. Grab yourself one of these. Like I said, links in the description. But I think that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.